Uh, my team consists of uh, a nucleus of hardworking young Danes, um, national team players. Two of them were selected uh, just recently in the late, latest national team game. Um, but it's like I, like I'm saying, it's uh, it's a team that's very focused on on uh, developing, to, on, on everybody's in it to uh, learn and uh, take their games to the next level, which is something that um, when I was accepting this job, that's something that I firmly believed in. Um, it's similar of the things that we were doing in the past, also when I was in Sweden last year. Um, so, complemented by three Americans, one of them is, is injured, Brandon Norfleet, uh, unfortunate for him. Um, this is our last preseason game before we open up next week, so it's uh, it, it's still a test for us. Uh, that's how we are approaching this game, and, and uh, we want to try to put the things on the floor that we've been working on in the, in the preseason. Uh, so you know we're gonna we're gonna take it that, with that approach. Um, big guy Jakob Anavolt, uh, also former national team player, played at Drake. Uh, he's our he's our big guy, about six eleven. Um, Jeremiah Ingram played in Australia last two years uh, from Detroit. Um, one of the profiles also um, Sebastian Oris. That's our uh, national team player. Um, yes, and then um, we got Peter Miller also. Um, Another Dane uh, coming from the States. He played at Metro State in Denver last year. Uh, uh, wants to, uh, uh, again, uh, come back to the Danish League and reestablish himself. Hungry guy. Uh, also, uh, you know, wanting to improve on a daily basis. So, so um, Zach Charles, uh, Eastern Kentucky. Uh, also another profile player. Uh, young guy, 22 years old. No, just turned 23, sorry. Um, but um, he is an interesting guy also because he's moving from different positions. He's been typically known to play just under the basket. And, um, you know, the kind of thing that we're looking for with him is, is help him uh, develop into a three position, uh, which he has so far um, also accepted really well. It's showing signs of improvement uh, early on in the preseason, so I'm very happy with him also. Um, yes, and um, then it's it's our role players. Uh, our captain, Mikko Plantin, 29 years old, uh, has been in the league for many years, has, has played in, in uh, multiple leagues in Europe, in Sweden and in Slovakia also, uh, won a championship. Um, so, you know, that's our experience part of the team is, is him. He, he gives us stability and, and, um, and a sense of, you know, maturity also. In general, I think it's a, you know, I just want to, again, I'm, now I'm just expressing my thoughts, but it's an intriguing thing. Uh, just the idea of, um, you know, playing against a different uh, basketball culture, against a different basketball age. Also, in terms of development, maybe you know these guys are a little bit younger. They're still very skilled, um, but you know we're about four or five years ahead uh, in terms of maybe average age or something like that. So you know it's an intriguing matchup, without any doubt. And, um, for the kids to be seen and show their talents, it's a good opportunity for them. Uh, so it's you know up to them what they make of it, what kind of character they have, and you know how they get seen by, by coaches. I mean, all that stuff matters. So, you know, uh, I'm looking forward to today's game. I, I'll be honest with you, it's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. Uh, my players are also excited. Um, I'm, I'm very happy that we made this happen. Uh, I think it's it's a good, good way to finish our preseason. Uh, a, a fun and exciting way, bringing you guys in, bringing LeVar in also. Uh, so, Let's, let's hope for the best of, of tonight, that both teams get something out of it, both teams learn. Um, yes, and then we can all walk away from this and, and move on. You guys go into Poland, and we'll start our, our season.
Yes, we've been working since uh, mid-August. That's when, when our Americans started arriving. I've been here since the beginning of August. I was working with uh, our Danish players. So, yes, we're in the last stages of our, of our preseason. It's really, uh, you know, been five, six weeks now uh, where we've been working pretty hard twice a day, uh, about ten times a week. So, yes, that's, that's professional basketball, and that's the level that we want to set for ourselves and the standard uh, that we have to, to, to get better, to develop. Uh, a lot of my, my focus is, again, increasing uh, their skill bags, I feel like every player uh, deserves that, no matter what position. Um, so, uh, guys are working good. I'm, I'm, I'm excited for the season, and I, I think it's going to be uh, a good way to, again, finish off our preseason. Uh, well, I mean, there's no secrets. Uh, you know, defensively, we want to pick up and put pressure on the guys. Uh, always pressure on the ball, distract vision, all those stuff. Uh, we believe in core principles and getting into the next play. Uh, you know, short, short-term memory when bad things happen. Just really core values that are really big and important. Defensive aspects. Uh, then you can tweak a little bit to scouting reports. Of course, uh, against a team like this, it's very hard to prepare. But you know, we know that the the guys coming in are very skilled. They're good one-on-one -on -one players. Uh, so we we prepare in that way. Uh, for this game. Um, offensively, we like to go out and, and push the ball when we have a, a chance to, react after the rebound, fill our lanes, uh, and then have structure. Uh, I think that's, that's a very important ingredient to have that balance in between finding early opportunities and transition and then having structure where now everybody's in their spots. Have That's about as much as I can give away right now. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, I mean, we, we prepared individual scouting for these guys. Uh, we know the names. Uh, we received the, the profiles about a month ago or something like that, maybe already three weeks ago. Whenever they selected the team, the guy Carolus, he, uh, he sent us the roster. And, you know, we did the research, we did the work, we looked them up a little bit, see their strengths, see what they look like, see how big they are, blah, blah, blah. And that's about as far as you can take it. Now, this team has never played together, uh, so they've never shown anything on the floor. Uh, so from that angle, again, it's, it's very hard to prepare for. Uh, but that's why it's intriguing. You're going into a blind game. Just let's see what happens. Let's play some basketball. Hopefully nobody gets injured. Uh, and, and, and we walk away, again, all of us learning something. So. No, man, I mean... If you guys want to ask questions after the game, feel free. To, I'll, I'll share my thoughts. Uh, again, I think um, this is an exciting day also for our Danish basketball community. Uh, a lot of people excited with the, everything that's going on around uh, Big Baller brand and, and those two, uh, you know, Lamelo and LiAngelo and LeVar and everything. So um, I, hope, I hope it's going to be a good afternoon for us.